Hey y'all, Grace Millsap here. I'm a yoga teacher and Ayurveda wellness coach. As always, a deep bow to my teachers and paths that have led me here. This practice is a, a pitta cooling practice that's coming right up. So this practice isn't for everyone at every time. Pitta is a dosha. There are both Ayurveda words and dosha means category or, and also imbalance. So this practice is good for anyone um, who may be feeling a little hot and bothered, who may also be in the middle of summertime or experiencing any of these hot emotions. So the qualities, well, Pitta first is the elements of water and fire thrown together. And that sounds a little uh, counterintuitive, but I like to think of the more like oily, gasoline -y types of uh, water. So when you put it with this fire, it burns bright. So the qualities of Pitta are sharpness, lightness, instability, hotness, and it's the uh, dosha that rules our metabolism and our digestion. So this is a really good cooling flow for you if you're experiencing any sort of hot, heated conditions or it's in the middle of the summertime, this is a really great one for you. Coming right back to Sukhasana, easy seat, elevating the hips just as you need to. Close your eyes and notice your breath in this moment just as it is. There's nothing to change or fix. It simply is what it is. And if you can, start to breathe in and out of the nose, but there's no need to force it. Keep your ujjayi breath soft and subtle, perhaps just for you. And then allow your inhale to slowly synchronize and match up with your exhale. And maybe you're breathing in and out effortlessly for three counts. Maybe it's more. The number isn't important, simply that you find and restore some balance to the breath. Keep your focus on your breath as you make your way into a tabletop shape. Move with breath through rounds of cat and cow. And as you move, allow your breath to slow down. Perhaps now you can breathe in and out for four, maybe five counts. Taking that big, beautiful breath just a little bit slower. Neutral tabletop. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, child's pose. Slow it down, smooth it out. Inhale, table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Soft and smooth. Keep going, move with your slow, balanced breath. Between these three simple and somewhat well-known shapes. And if this feels painfully slow for you, Slow it down even more. And 
one more round. And then we'll pause in our child's pose. And you're welcome to bring your big toes to touch and your knees a little wider. Perhaps it feels good to rock your hips or heels side to side as you melt your heart down to the floor. Spread your fingers wide apart and feel the coolness of your mat and the earth beneath you. Slow, smooth, steady breath. Tabletop. Downward facing dog. Take some moments to move, feel, and breathe here. Know that this down dog is special because it's the one that's happening right now. And there's no need to compare or contrast. It simply is what it is. Pause in your down dog. Forward fold. And depending on your space, this can happen front, back, middle of the mat. And keep some space between the feet. And maybe the palms stay on the ground or perhaps just some blocks if that feels impossible. Sway your body forward, back, side to solid. Softness in the back of the crown, in the back of the head and neck, crown of the head. If you feel any pulling or tightness, know that you can bend and soften into that space. Slowly start to bring your feet a little closer to touch. Still keeping some space between the big toes. Halfway lift. Fold. Stand up. Draw your hands to prayer. And perhaps you turn to face lengthwise, sideways on the mat. You may have one block on either end, just in case. And if you don't have them, there's no pressure. So we'll take this nice and slow. As you breathe and stretch both arms up to the sky as you look up. And you can interlace your hands if you choose. Good, and then lean over to your left. Grow long in the right side. And come back up into center. And then take a big step out to the left with the left foot. Stretch both arms up to the sky and then slowly sink your hips low. Goddess. Stand up. Stretch both hands to the sky and turn your left toes to the left and your right toes forward. Grow a little longer and then start to reach the left hand towards the left. Find the left shin and then open up triangle. Stretch the right hand up as you look up. Parsvottanasana. Rotate your right toes to the left and fold forward over your left shin. Low lunge, slide your right knee down to the floor. Grow long through the side bodies. Rotate in the direction of your left knee, skandhasana, deep side bending lunge. 
taking us to the other side. Skandasana, bend your right knee, peel open your left toes. Bow lunge. Parzo Tonasana. Hop your hips up. Fold forward over your right shin. Trikonasana. Place your right hand on your right shin as you peel open your heart towards the sky. Press through your back foot. Rise up. Turn your toes out to the side. Stretch your arms up. Goddess. Walk everything back into center. Stretch your hands to the sky. And stretch and lean over to your right. Breathe into the left. Center. Hands to prayer. We'll take that in the other direction, revolution the other way. Stretch this arms up. Stretch and lean over to your right. Stand up. Moving towards goddess. Triple nasana. Right toes right. Low lunge. Skandasana. Switch sides. Move as you choose. to the left, center, hands to prayer. Make your way into a downward facing dog shape. There's no right or wrong way to get there. Least amount of effort. Tabletop. Lie down on your belly. Sphinx pose. When you feel crunching in the low back, you can walk the feet a little wider apart. Keep space between the elbows and the shoulders and breathe into the belly. One to one ratio of breath. Under and inhale. Exhale, lower down. Dynamic locust. Place both hands on the low back, it doesn't matter which. Move with breath. Inhale, lift just your heart. Exhale, lift your feet as well. Inhale, lift everything higher. Exhale, lower. Two more rounds. Inhale, heart. Exhale, feet. Inhale, lift higher. Lower down. One more. Rest your left ear down. Rock your hips side to side. Rest your right ear. Child's pose. Soften your heart towards the floor.
Sukhasana. Easy sitting pose. Elevate your hips as you choose. Come back to the steady, balanced breath. Sit to Libra. Roll your tongue. And if you have the extra special genetics to where you can't quite roll the tongue, you can always press your tongue into the back of your teeth and get the same sort of sensation. And start with dropping the chin down, roll the tongue, and we'll inhale through the roll of the tongue as we lift our head up towards the sky. And then exhale, release the tongue, breathe out through the nose as you drop your chin back down towards your chest. And do that again, breathe in, roll the tongue, breathe in through the tongue, lift the chin. Release the tongue, drop the chin towards the chest as you exhale. Take that three more rounds. Pause for a moment. Notice how the body, mind, breath feels. 